Let's continue our part three. Last time we uh, discussed resistors in parallel, resistors in series. By considering resistors in parallel, resistors in series, we, uh, we can analyze some simple resistor circuit. However, it is difficult to analyze more complicated resistor circuit like the following one. If we look at this uh, circuit uh, here, this is more complicated. We can't consider this uh, in series because you have a branch there. You can't consider this in parallel because you have a resistor there. Uh, if we just consider resistors in parallel, resistor in series, we can't uh, do analysis of this uh, circuit. Now, one um, approach to uh, dealing with this type of a circuit, this type of circuit, right, is by using star delta conversion. Uh, if uh, we write uh, star star delta conversion. Okay. Now, what is a star delta conversion? On this page, we have two um, two circuits. On left side, this is a delta. It's a, like a Greek character. Yeah. Later, this is a delta. And this side, look this shape, this is a called a star. Now, if we cover, uh, if we cover this uh, structure, if we cover here, if we cover there, if we don't know what is a structure inside, now we just know we have a AB terminal, AB terminal, uh, AC, AC, uh, BC, BC. Now what we can do is we consider this is a, a both a black box. And we can't tell which structure it is, but we just know there are three terminals, A, B, C, A, B, C. To make sure those two circuits are equivalent, we must make sure same resistance between any pairs or terminal, uh, such as uh, AB, AB, uh, AC, AC, BC, BC. If we can make sure any terminal uh, or all pairs between terminal, those uh, resistors, resistance are exactly the same. Uh, we can say between this side and that side, is uh, equivalent. Now, uh, if we try to work out um, R A R A B, uh, R A B, uh, we are considering this uh, structure. Let's uh, consider this uh, structure. Uh, R A B. If we consider here, you have uh, R B R A in series and then in parallel with the RC. So that, that is uh, the first case. Uh, if I write uh, down here, this is the RC in parallel RA plus RB. Right. When we uh, discuss uh, capacitor in parallel, <laughs> we, uh, we learned uh, how can work out equivalent uh, resistance is uh, this times this and divided by this plus this. So that is RC times RA plus RB divided by RC plus RA plus RB. So this uh, result uh, here, that, that is uh, from this uh, structure. That's, a, that's a linked to there. Now, if we consider the right side, how can we work out uh, the, the resistance between terminal A and terminal B? That is a simple, I just simply, I just have R1 plus R2. 
nothing else because RC here is open. That's uh, no impact. So from this side, now I have uh, have this. Uh, that is the uh, first uh, equation we can write. Now similarly, we can write uh, uh, um, RBC if I consider here RBC. Now you have a RA, and that is RA in parallel RB plus RC. So RB plus RC. Uh, again, we consider those two in parallel. We can write is the RA times RB plus RC divided by RA plus RB plus RC. So again, from this structure, we have this uh, equation. Now, if we consider RBC on right side, on this side here, uh, is only you have uh, two resistors involved. That's R two plus R three. That is uh, this side. So now we have a second equation. Similarly, we can write a third equation RCA. Uh, RCA, yes, uh, here, or RAC. Uh, that is there. If we, um, if we consider, we have uh, this, we want to work out what is RAC. Uh, now RAC, RAC, you have uh, two parts. One is uh, RB, that equals RB in parallel RCRA. So that is uh, RC plus R. A. So from this, now we can work out two resistors in parallel. Now you have uh, RB times RC plus RA. In bottom is uh, RA, RB, RC plus together. Uh, similarly, we uh, consider RAC on this side. You have only two resistors. That is R1 plus R3. And that is uh, here. R1 plus R3. Now we have uh, three equations to uh, describe or uh, uh, to make those uh, two circuits exactly equivalent because all terminal uh, resistance in any terminals now is uh, equivalent, that's the same. From uh, above equations, if we try to solve R1, R2, R3, we ignore all those, right? If we ignore those, we have uh, three equations. If we solve R1, R2, R3, based on RA, RB, RC, now we can have the following result. The R1 equals RB times RC divided by RA plus RB plus RC. I don't intend to, um, to verify this uh, result on, uh, during, um, for my video. Now, during synchronized session, we can do this, uh, this uh, practice. Now, similarly, we can, we can work out what is R2 in terms of uh, RA, RB, RC. That is uh, RC times RA divided by RA plus RB plus RC. Uh, similarly, we work out R3 equals RA times RB divided by RA plus RB plus RC. It means we can effectively uh, convert the structure, data structure with uh, RA, RB, RC. And if we have this structure, we know what is RA, RB, RC. Now we can convert into uh, star. Uh, from by, by those uh, three equations, we can work out what is R1, what is R2, what is R3. Effectively, we convert data into star. And that is uh, a way how this uh, uh, approach works. Um, the following is an uh, exercise. I leave uh, this uh, exercise to um, uh, yourself. 
derived uh, above its results on page 63, that is uh, here, those are results from equations on page 62, uh, those equations. Now we just uh, discuss how can we convert um, a data structure into a, into a star structure. Uh, similarly, if we like to convert a star structure into data structure, what we need to do is to solve R, A, R, B, R, C. Uh, back to uh, this uh, original equations, this, uh, original equations here. Uh, based on those uh, three equations, we need to solve what is R, A in terms of R1, R2, R3. What is R, B in terms of R1, R2, R3? And what is uh, R, C? in terms R1, R2, R3. Uh, the procedure to do this is very uh, almost the same. It's the same as uh, previous case. What we need uh, to do is uh, to solve R, A, R, B, R, C in terms of R1, R2, R3. Uh, similar to previous uh, procedure, now we can work out uh, R, A equals this, R, B equals this, RC equals this. Now, once we know this uh, relationship, if we back to original um, structure here, uh, if we know R1, R2, R3, now we can work out what is the equivalent RA, RB, RC. Now we can work out this. That means now based on by those uh, equations, we can convert a star structure into data structure. So that is um, uh, that's very uh, similar. It means we have effectively convert, converted uh, star configuration with uh, R1, R2, and R3 to data configuration with uh, RA, RB, and RC. Uh, the following uh, exercise and uh, example. And uh, here is an example. That is an example. Example. Uh, yeah, all the following uh, example. So we leave uh, and the last page is a summary. We leave uh, those for synchronized uh, sessions. Uh, we've, because the last page here is a summary of uh, part uh, three. Uh, we uh, finish uh, part three, and next uh, time we start uh, part four.